Hey guys, Jason here. So today I want to show you how to use the uh, filter and map method together. So we're going to be chaining the methods. And what I have here is I have a collection of uh, data. It's uh, Marvel movie data. So just some sample data I created. And uh, basically what I want to do is I want to grab the IDs of movies that have a rating of uh, 4.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two methods together in order to get that result. <clears throat> so let's get started. So I'll just declare declare a variable here. I'll call it, um, let's see, just movie IDs. <clears throat> and so we are going, so first thing I want to do, so I want to grab the IDs of the movies that are that have a rating of 4.0 so first thing I would do is I would filter through to grab the movies that have a rating of 4.0 so what I'm gonna do is grab the Marvel movies and then I'll do a dot filter pass in the callback function that it takes Whoop. <clears throat> okay and um, so the filter method takes an argument which is a function uh, callback function and this function will be applied to every element inside our array that we're going through and so for our parameter we will call it just call it movie and so with the filter method um, the way it works for the, the function that the function argument that it takes it has to return a some type of boolean value so true or false and so uh, we're going to write a conditional that says, okay, if the movie that we're currently iterating over is, if its rating is equal to 4.0, then we want to return true. So how, how would I do that? I would just do return and then do movie.rating equals, e triple equals 4.0. <clears throat> All right, so this is just saying if the movie we're on is if the movie rating that we're on is equal to 4.0, we will return true because remember the filter function, the callback function, uh, has to return some type of uh, boolean value. So it's basically like a test. So if it passes the test, then it'll take that element that we're iterating over and it'll insert it into a new array that will we, that will be returned at the end once we filter through all the movie data. Okay, and so we will do that. And now, let's see, let me format this a little bit. Oops. Okay. All right, so now I will do a dot map. Um, Call this filtered movie. Okay. And so, um, all right. And so now, after the, so at the end of this uh, filter uh, method, I'm doing another dot map. So I'm chaining the map method on it. Uh, remember, because uh, with the map method, we can call, we can only call the map method on arrays. And remember the filter uh, method. The filter method basically the filter method returns an array, and so because of that, we are able to use a map method after that. So that's why we are able to chain. So now we will do okay. So now we're gonna basically map over the array of filtered um, of the filtered movies that we have. So now we will do return, and remember we want to grab the IDs of the filtered movies that we currently have. So we will do return uh, filtered movie because that's the parameter name we gave it <clears throat> and dot ID. Cool. All right. Cool. So yep. So that's basically what the map function uh, map method did. Basically it mapped over our array of filtered uh, movies that we got from doing this stuff here 
and when we mapped over it we made sure to return the IDs of the movies that we have that were in that array and so now I will just do a console.log uh, movie IDs and what we should get is an array of uh, IDs so basically we have two uh, movies here so we should get these two IDs in the array cool alright and that is what we have so awesome so hopefully uh, you guys found this useful um, yeah so if you guys liked uh, this little uh, code example I did uh, please give it a like I greatly greatly appreciate it and if you want to see more videos like this uh, don't forget to subscribe and have a good day